Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about different addressing modes of 8085 microprocessor. Now the question arises, what is the meaning of addressing mode? While writing an assembly language program for 8085, we use various ways or various instructions to access the data stored in the memory or in the register. So those ways of accessing the data are known as addressing modes. In 8085 microprocessor, there are mainly five different types of addressing modes, namely immediate addressing mode, register addressing mode, direct addressing mode, register indirect addressing mode and implied addressing mode. Coming to the first one that is immediate addressing mode, in this mode the value given by the programmer is directly moved into the location specified. This location can be a register or an address in the memory. Let us take an example and see. MBI A 1 A H. So, here the data 1 A H is given by the programmer which is moved to the register specified in this instruction that is register A or accumulator. The next example is MBIB 62H. Here the data 62H supplied by the programmer is copied to the specified register B. In other words, we can say that immediate addressing mode is a mode in which immediate value is given to operate on. Some more example in this category are LXI H 3050H. So, in the instruction LXI H 3050, we load the HL pair with value 3050. The higher byte that is 30 is stored in H and the lower byte that is 50 is stored in the register L. So, now my HL register pair will contain 3050. Another example is LXI SP 4050H. Here we load the value 4050 in the stack pointer register. Then, then the third example is JMP 9000H. Here the jump operation is performed and here the control jumps to the memory location specified in the instruction. There are many other instruction uh, which fall in this category and those instructions are LXI, MBI, ADI, ACI, SUI, SBI, CPI, XRI and ORI. The second type of addressing mode is register addressing mode. In this mode, the data to be accessed and operated upon is present in a register and it is accessed by specifying the name of the register. So, let us take an example and see this MOB A comma B. So, here the data to be accessed is stored in the register B and it is accessed by specifying the register B in the instruction. In this example, the data in register B is copied to the accumulator. There are some more instruction in this category. And those instructions are MOB, ADD, ADC, SUB, SBB, INR, INX, DCR, DCX, CMP, ANA, XRA and ORA. Then the next type of addressing mode is direct addressing mode. In this mode an address is used to refer the memory location. In other words, we can say that the data stored in the memory location is accessed by using the 
address. For example, LDA 2034H. So here the content at the memory location 2034H is stored in the accumulator. So suppose at 2034H the data stored is 3BH. After the instruction LDA2034, the data 3BH is copied in the accumulator. Then the next instruction is LHLD2040H. So, here the content at 2040 is copied into the register L and the content at the next location that is 2041 is copied into register L. So, here suppose at 2040H the data stored is 1BH and suppose in the next location that is 2041H the data stored is 2BH. Now, after the instruction LHLD2040, the data 1BH is copied to the register L and the next data that is 2BH is copied to register H. Uh, there are many other uh, instruction under this category. For example, STA3021H or SHLD 2012H. So, you can find many example in this category. Now, coming to the next type of addressing mode that is register indirect addressing mode. In this mode, the register holds the address of the location from which the data is to be retrieved. So, if you are getting confused, let us take an example and understand this. MOB A comma M. Here we move the content of the memory location whose address is held by the HL pair into the accumulator. It means suppose the HL pair contains 2041. So, this is the memory location. So, we will go to the memory location 2041H. Suppose the data stored at this memory location is 1BH, then this data is copied to the accumulator after the instruction MOBA, M. So, now my accumulator will contain the data 1BH. Similarly, there are few more example in this category. Those are add M and INR M. Now, coming to the last category of addressing mode that is implied addressing mode. In this mode of addressing, the microprocessor already knows the location of the data to process and the programmer does not need to define it explicitly. The information is already contained in the upcode. For example, CMA. Here, each bit of the 8 bit number stored in the accumulator is complemented. So, in this uh, upcode, we did not mention accumulator explicitly. The microprocessor understands on which register it has to operate on. Similarly, the other uh, example of instruction in this category are RLC, uh, which generally manipulates the 8 bit data stored in the accumulator. Um, it moves the 8 bit data left by one place. Then the next example is CMC, where the carry flag is complemented. Here we did not mention anything explicitly. So, with this we come to the end of the discussion.
I hope you have understood it. In case you have any doubt, you can write that in the comment section. I will address all those doubt one by one. Thank you for watching this video.